All right, so I have the uh, peak at home uh, hormone testing kit. Um, I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna use it um, and follow the step-by-step -step instructions that are inside of it. So uh, here it goes. So obviously to begin with, um, I have fasted for the last 12 hours and that's something you're gonna need to do and you wanna collect uh, the blood sample before 10 a.m. the next day. Um, so let's follow along and here goes. So you're gonna open up uh, the kit after you uh, order it and there's gonna be a, um, a number, your kit number, that you're going to wanna to, um, register online to let them know that you received it and then that everything that is sent back then is going to be um, with your name and everything attached to it for you. So inside here, there's the, uh, the, the kit. This is a big uh, fold out poster pretty much showing how to collect your sample. So you're gonna collect two samples on two different cards that they have in here. Um, and I'm gonna once again show you how to do that. So there's all that we can follow along with. Um, inside here you also have your, your mailer where it's gonna be shipped back to them. There's your two uh, sample cards. And then inside here is um, alcohol prep um, pieces and um, some bandages and um, the little lancets, which were blank there. And then these two right here, um, you'll only wanna open these right before putting your sample in to ship it back. So there's, there's stuff inside there. Do not remove that. Um, once you rip this open um, and you put your dried sample in there, you seal it up, that's all you're gonna wanna do then. And then obviously put it inside here both those samples are going to um, go back inside there. So once again, whatever inside there, it's a preservative or something for it to keep it uh, stable. So when you ship it back, um, it's good. So I'm gonna stick these aside for now. And here is where we're gonna collect our samples here. So with it, You'll want to um, um, obviously wash your hands beforehand, which I have. Um, and then you want to get some like um, exercise in your fingers to get like the blood flowing in there. Some people like will use hot water to stimulate the blood to get to the uh, outer edges of like your hands and stuff like that. You can totally do that. Um, just make sure that you wash them with soap and water beforehand, like I said, which I have. And then before you get going here too, you're gonna to use um, an alcohol prep pad um, to clean the area before you um, poke your finger. So here's the little lancets here. To give you a couple different ones, um, just like that. So. So there it is, I just removed um, it. And now when I press this, uh, down there, it's going to um, send a little needle out there. So when you're collecting it, um, you want to make sure that you're collecting the sample in this little box right here. And then it's going to drip under or flow under like this piece right here. And you want to um, keep adding blood until this line um, gets filled. So. And then obviously when you're done here, you're gonna fill out your, your name, birthday, the date collected and all that stuff. So you're going to, um, you know, I'm gonna poke my finger. I'm gonna do it on the inside of my ring finger here. And then I'm going to drop the first drop of blood and then 15 to 20 seconds um, after it, it pulls up on my finger there, I'm gonna drop it. And then 30 to 45 seconds later, the next drop. So you're gonna do up to four drops um, just to make sure that you can get enough in there uh, to fill that card. So let me start off with, and they give you some bandages here and some pads to, uh, to soak up the blood if, if you need to um, be. So we're gonna put this one up here, 
just to wipe the finger my finger off here in a second and we'll prep a band-aid All right, so I've collected the samples um, and I'm ready to let them dry. Um, it took a little bit longer than I expected um, to, um, for have the, to have the blood uh, drip on um, the little tabs here. Um, so now I'm gonna let these dry before I uh, package them up and ship them away. And once again, so it comes in a, a prepaid package that you're gonna put them in and then inside here, um, before I pack them away, um, make sure they're completely dry, rip this open, leave whatever's inside here. There's something inside there to help preserve it on its uh, journey back to the lab. Um, stick it in there, seal it up, and then put it in um, the biohazard bag, and then that's what's going to eventually go into um, the mailer. So once you've uh, registered your kit online, um, when you receive it, um, that's how you're going to be able to track um, the results when they're uh, finished. So I uh, look forward to seeing um, that. I'm not sure exactly how long it takes, two or three days maybe, um, for it to be mailed back there and then it will be in the lab. So I'm excited to see what the results are. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you, um, you've learned something about the uh, peak uh, testosterone um, hormone at home uh, kit. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.